stuff does, but I think I heard it. It's a, it, it does it you up a long time. severe. Something fucking severe. How old were you when that happened? I was, holy shit. I lost my kids at 20. I would say about 27. Hmm. It sounded like Joe was here for a second. I heard a bong. <laughs> I got a gay roll here. Who, who's who's smoking a bong? <laughs> or blowing bubbles in their drink? <laughs> 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 Okay, so I kind of came in late. I just want to kind of recap what I think I heard you say. Okay. So around four, around the age of four, your mother, and where was dad at this time? Was dad around? Dad was working like, I would say, 18 hours a day. Was anybody in your family in the military or the service at all, ever, that you know Never. Of? Never. Okay. So from the ben age of I, four ben to I 11... Know. From four to eleven, this this pervert, pedophile motherfucker did horrible things to you. Were there other people also, other than this particular pervert, pedophile motherfucker, that was doing things to you as well? Yeah, there were, and that was put on video in his basement. Mm. He would actually bring lots of kids over. He would bring people with kids to bring kids over to this person's house, and they would have those real movies. And they would videotape what they told us to do. God. So how did you finally escape at, after 11? Why did it stop? As far as what's your understanding, why it stopped happening? Because my mother finally got out of uh, away from my dad, like she said she was saving money to do, and bought a house with my dad's money and uh, all my dad's money. And um, we moved about... I'd say half an hour to an hour, half an hour drive away. I still had to go back after that. That's how I got pregnant at 11. And, okay, what, um, you also told me off the air about a bunch of men trying to kill you with injection. Oh, you want to hear this one? This is fucking outrageous, and this is a story. I don't know if anybody else even has gone through anything like this with these people. And then after but, uh, after that, uh, I think it's going to be hard for people to absorb, so I think we should go back to the alien ship, but I think we should yeah. go. I can't, I'm not supposed to talk too much about that, or I, I might never get the chance to go back. Well, we That's could talk why I don't around want to it, talk maybe. about that, but I will talk about this. I was about 22 years old, and I, um, I got sick, and I was walking around town at three o'clock in the morning. And one of the officers picked me up, told me I should go to my aunt's house or wherever I was staying for the night. So I went to my aunt's house. My other aunt that was there uh, with my niece at the time, um, I was pretty sick. So they decided that they were going to go drop my niece off and she was going to come back. Well, she never did come back that night. Anyways, the door was left unlocked. I had taken a bath. I was laying on the couch, fell asleep, and all of a sudden I hear the door open and a whole bunch of pots and pans chiming. I went to open my eyes and I had a needle shoved in. Then another one. Then another one. And by the time they had um, these, I'd say, 10 men, 10 to eight men got done with me, I had 70 needle marks in me. They were all talking in the dining room about doubt stroll. They wanted to get me killed. So what else they were going to do to me? So I got up. I don't know how I did it. I was so fucking out of it. I got up, made it to the front door, unlocked and started running. One of the guys must have grabbed something out of the back of their truck and hit me in the back of the head and dragged me back to the house. I'm completely naked. After my bath, I got dressed. But when they were raping me, 
they took all my clothes off and then they threw me in the back of the truck, took me behind the food bank here in town and threw me in the Catfish Creek where I was supposed to drown and die. But for some amazing miracle, I'm still here. So at what point in your life was your first experience with what you felt might have been some sort of extraterrestrial, non-human type forms or entities? Can you talk about that? Non-human type forms only after I turned, I would say 24. Did you say four? Four years of age? 24. 24. Oh, 24. 24. Okay, my bad. I've had lots of experiences with angels. And I've had lots of, um, you guys brought the word earlier. Um, I have instincts about things, and I'm usually right. And I will get out of a situation because of instinct. And my father's house, I, this is one of the situations I'll explain to you. I was sitting at my father's house, and all of a sudden I was looking at everything up against his wall. And I said, Dad, do you have fire insurance? He goes, yeah. And I said, oh, oh, that's good. That's good, Dad. I want to take all that furniture with me. He said, why? I said, I don't know. I think there's going to be a fire. I not got up the hill out of Richmond, and the house set on fire. I didn't know until I got back home. And we had gotten a phone call that the house burned down. How did you survive in the creek? Um, I was drowning. I don't know. I learned how to swim because my dad threw me in the water, so I learned how to swim. So I just kept going up and under the water. I did get a hold of a log, and I was holding on to the log for a while, but it was middle of November. Minus 10, minus 15 degrees out, snowing, and I'm holding on to this log. The log slips away, and two people pull me out of the uh, water, and it was cops. They bring me back to the police station, and they throw me in a cell instead of sending me for help because I was so cold. Well, that doesn't sure, seem right. You sure good Wait a minute. police officers not? Pardon it? Your police in your town are terrible. I know that. That's why there shouldn't be a small hicked out cop. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, but they still saved your life. Yeah, they did. They did save my life. But instead of sending me to the hospital, that's kind of weird. They sent me I don't to get that. One. That's pretty weird. Instead of getting a rape a rape kit done, they sent me to the psych instead of the hospital. That's not. That is weird. How did they, you, you know, I'll tell you something. How the fuck did they know you were uh, uh, g going down a river and holding a log? Like, uh, how would they know that? It's almost like they knew it was going on and they thought, oh, let's, yeah. go, let's go get yeah, her I know. out of there. We it's can't let her die. Now, isn't it? it actually seems like they knew they were tipped up on this or they knew about it to me. Yeah, uh, I how, how, would, like that. how would anyone notice Someone like you know, in in that cold weather, not many people hang around outside, watching the river. There. <laughs> that's right. So you tell me what happened. I'd I love mean, to know. I know. I've been in this town. I know what, where you're talking about. And there's a big steep bank on each side, so you can't really see it from you anywhere unless you're get standing. Out of that water no, unless you, you're you, you'd, you'd have out, to be. Especially when it's that cold, because your body freezes doesn't up. Doesn't make sense to me. How how the how did they? What did the cops say to you? How did they find you there? How did they notice you in there? I'd really like to know that one. All they did was pull up and run over and pull me out. I had been in the water for How could they about see five you? to seven minutes anyway. How could they see you in there? It's got steep banks. You'd have to be standing on the side of the river and look down in. Hey, do you know where the food bank is, Elmer? Exactly where, yes. Where the old, okay, Cana where the old where Canadian the tire? Okay, dog park is there? Yeah. Okay, I was right in that water there where the water meets up to the park. 
There's a tree line there now. That tree line used to never be there. And that's where the cops see me. Okay, so if they were driving by in their car, do you think they could have seen you down there? They never would have seen me if they were driving by. That's right. Never. Exactly. But that, if that's they my drove point. down that hill, that's the only way they could have found exactly. me unless they knew I was already there. They must have known you were there. There's no other explanation. Think about it. Did you thought it? Think yeah, of it. Did so, you did you think of this or, or that that point that I'm making? Or no, this is the first time I've thought of this. Actually, all right, all right. That yeah, true. that's a clue to me. Those cops knew you were there. Yep. It just came to me when you were telling the story. Wow. It didn't dawn on me till now. You said that. That's just fucking amazing. But oh, fucking, it's even worse. Makes it even worse. Yeah. For me. <laughs> Well, it, it, it just—it's odd. Why would they take? Why wouldn't they take you to a hospital? It doesn't make sense. Put you in a jail, jail cell and then bring you this psycho word. I don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't. Jail cell. Got my aunt to bring clothes. I mean, it sounds like you must have been told her to bring oh. me to my doctor and send me to the psych immediately. Oh wait a minute! You were injected with a bunch of stuff, so you probably weren't talking right, and maybe they thought you were crazy. I don't know, but they must know you. Yeah, they could have thought Small I was town, crazy. they must know you. But even to ask me what had happened, I wouldn't have been able to explain because I was so cold. My whole teeth and everything Yeah, was that's why I, I don't understand why they wouldn't just bring you to the St. Thomas Hospital, which is 10 minutes down the road. I wish they would have. My God, I could have got help. I could have got warmed up. I had to go into a cold cell you know, you could probably a mat with a sheet. They, you, you could launch a huge lawsuit against the police department for not bringing to a hospital, you know. Not just that. The hospital should be sued, too, for all the abuse they put me through there. You wouldn't believe what I went through there. Wow. Because I didn't want to go swimming in front of the, the forensic unit, which is all men, pretty much all men. Um, they were going to take my weekend pass away because I wouldn't have a bathing suit on and go down there and swim in front of them. And... They thought it was a joke, but it broke my heart. And then they just fucking laughed it off and didn't give me my pass until a later time. Hmm. They also kept food away from me, kept drinks away from me, kept uh, outside away from me. I'm a very outdoorsy person. They kept it all away from me. And also, um, abuse is rampant, rampant in the hospital. If you have a nurse that had a bad day, you can forget about your carton of smokes because they're going to give it to everybody else but you. And if you have to go to the bathroom, too bad for you. There's nowhere to go. You better either go to the bathroom on the floor or you better wait and wait and wait until somebody comes there. And it can take hours and hours for somebody to show up. Oh, yeah. It's worse in jail. Yeah, but um, I've noticed this treatment on almost, like, they do it to old people here in the hospitals and, like, anyone they can get away with. They, it's they pretty shouldn't. terrible. They do that they to everyone. They should have robots taking care of people because people's mentalities are so fucked up. Uh, it's pretty bad here, actually. The, the treatment you get in hospitals uh, behind closed doors and... Uh, Especially people with no family that cares for them and checks up on them in there. <laughs> That's right. That's sad. Yeah, it's pretty awful. Man, we're going to have to have another break, I think, here. Cause well, I can just stop. Still, uh, like Curtis? <laughs> Curtis. Curtis, how did he leak onto the call? I don't have any comment. I'm sorry right now. Do you have any questions, Curtis? Uh, none. <laughs> well, what are you laughing about? This isn't even funny this time. No, it's not funny. I thought it was. I'm sorry. Oh, be quiet. Just, oh, mute myself. I, I mean, yeah. in the chat room, you're seeing, oh, poor girl and stuff, and now you come on here and you're laughing? <laughs> wow. No, but... <laughs> You just like what other people are like when they meet me. They want to know about my life. I get to know them. They fucking they get to no, know but that part where she shit. said, um. <laughs> Shh. Let me see. 
What is it? Um, which part? Which part, sir? I don't know. There was a part that was so funny. Hmm. I didn't hear a single part that was funny. Neither did I. I think you misunderstood something. Kurt, I told you to eat a goddamn bowl of Lucky Charms to get your head straight out. <laughs> Call us back. <laughs> Call us back in a half hour, Kurt. Captain no. Crunch, whatever. Yeah, I'll get yeah. myself. I'll mute myself. I'm okay. going to stand the line. Now. All right. I'm mute yourself. Go get a peanut butter sandwich and drink a glass of milk. Okay. I'll only mute right. myself. Don't you laugh at this lady. She's been through there, hell and back. There, no, but she even laughed. Oh, at a part. Well, so she's funny. laughing because she's, uh, she's trying to keep her sanity from all this. I know, but I no, know I that it. part the made me laugh. Like, no, she didn't tell you it made me laugh. They're still alive. Hmm. Okay. It's a miracle. How many people can be gone through all of this, all of it, and haven't even told you half, and still be alive? Think about that one. Make you laugh. Huh? I have seventy needle holes in me from the, the shit that these Mexican men and I put in me. It was heroin, cocaine, speed, opium, and hash. I had smoked hash earlier on that day. That's what they had put in my body to kill me, and it never fucking killed me. Hmm. So that was at twenty-seven or twenty-four. I just want to. Get the timeline in my head right here. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So let's. These are horrible things. Well, well, let's, let's jump move forward. Now, I want to jump. Point, go sorry, ahead. Can, sorry. I want to jump back or to what age when when you disappeared in the woods again? Okay, let's or, talk about. I just don't want to be blocked from ever being go, be able to go there again. Well, I, I just want you to repeat what you already told us a little bit. Okay. Like what, um, you, I was you walking told, through the park with a couple of friends of mine. And, well, no, I, I mean, how old were you then, again? I was about... And then you can take it from here, Eric, if you want. Okay. I would say I was probably about... 25. Around 25 years old, anyways. I'm walking through the park with a couple friends of mine here in town. And I was having a conversation with them, and I up and disappeared. They turned around, I was gone. Was this Those in the daytime or the evening? In my life here, because they said nobody seen me for three days. Those three days here was eight years on another planet where I raised two children. Now, I never spent um, any time again before, after that there. The only thing is, my children... Uh, were um, alien and I never changed I just I never aged I never nothing and I came back and it was three days later but I had experienced eight years on another planet on another spacecraft somewhere can you what did ever, your, go yeah, ahead I'm go sorry ahead. I was going to ask, what did uh, your alien children look like exactly what I was going to ask <laughs> <laughs> they look like greys were they like hybrid looking, half human, half grays, or just all grays? <laughs> all grays. They didn't take the genes from my features. And the grays they were trying to. My mind. That's why they took my uh, genes. Did they? Was that your first experience with the grays at that point? Well, one and only. Did they? Um, Go uh, ahead. Um, did they? How did they? get the make the children was it were they like test tube baby kind of thing or did they yes exactly what they were test tube and did you ever and uh, as they grew the um they had these huge uh they look like eggs like what a uterus would look as it's growing but it would be a great big uterus and the baby would grow inside with an umbilical cord coming out attached to another part of the um uh, facility we were in. I don't believe you. Well, don't believe me. They grew. And I... And hey, Kurt, unless Ezekiel's wheel was there on the spacecraft, Kurt's not going to be able to say Whatever they used. Did you get... And, oh, sorry. Go ahead if you're telling us something. Um, I was going to ask 
did they ever tell you what the planet's name was to, or anything? No. I do not know nothing to say anything, and if I did, I wouldn't say. And um, did you ever get a chance to see those children again? Um, I got to see them, raise them, be with them until they were eight. And then I decided to come back. I had the, uh, I had the option of staying or coming back. And for do, some stupid reason, I decided to come back. Do you remember, what were their names? No names, because we never went by names. It's did, all uh, mine. Do they grow? It's all like in this, the mind. Like, how fast do they grow up? Name. You are who you are when you speak. That is who you are. Your voice tells, your voice, it's in your mind that you communicate with them with. That's your name. I understand that. Because you I have, hope so. It's wait, really hard to it's, a tele, it's called a telepathic signature. That's right. That's what you it is. Yeah, that's what it, that, what your name is telepathically. When you talk yes. telepathically, your name is actually the the tele, uh, it's a shape that you see in your mind and you see that everyone has a signature and you know who that, that you know who that is. What what was like a typical day like raising kids like that? I love that guy's voice. Who's that talking right now? That's a great voice. There was a lot of them teaching Dang. me stuff. They were just I was teaching them my language, and they were teaching me stuff uh, about. It was it was. What did you learn from them? Right there. Who's I that? So right. much that's, from that's what's his name? Unbelievable. That's Kurt, honest that's true Jeff. love. What Jeff they the Gray, what Jeff. my children chose for me yeah. there. Jeff the Gray. Love you, Jeff. Was yeah. heavenly. Dang, Jeff. How do you have a voice okay, like that? Okay, okay, enough interrupting her. I'm I'm, I'm, listen, I'm trying sorry. to listen here. I'm I'll trying to listen mute. to her. I'm on the mute right now. Jeff Kelly. Sorry Gray. about that, Chris. That's all right. Do you want me to to shut him off the call for interrupting you that much? <laughs> uh, I, I, I was going to ask, like, what, um, like, you know, if you've taken anything that you've learned from there and you've applied it here on Earth. Well, I have to apply another thing. Last night you had a gentleman on who said that he floated around on a hand. Well, I was actually lifted up by my collar collar of my dress one time and held out of my body because I almost died and because of that day I will never ever 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 stop having faith that there is a higher being that's called a God maybe more gods but the God that saved me was a God his hand was the size of my little body holding a five year old it just asked, his, asked uh, her mother why she has to go to his house when he does that, get abused by her, get abused by someone else, and then said back for him to abuse him the worst he'd ever abused me in his entire life or mine. Did um, on this other planet? Died. How, did, how did you guys eat? How how did the what do the greys eat? It was all liquid. All liquid that I ate. It was like an IV. Huh. And was there any, like, water on the planet? Did they swim at all? No. Huh. Hmm. Oh, and about those, uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, there was no those water? Those airplane uh, clouds behind airplanes. What is that called again? The contrails? The contrails, there's all kinds of them around here. And I'm starting to wonder if they're trying to do a test on this town to see how many fucking retards they can create. What did you eat again? I'm sorry. Uh, would you repeat that? <laughs> it, was, it was mainly food and IVs. No, that was funny what she Nutrients, just said. <laughs> vitamins, what? stuff like that. How did it taste? I I'm just curious. There was no taste because it wasn't taken orally. 
You don't use your mouth there. You do not speak there. You just, everything, everything was blood or, or mental or mostly mental. Do they, um, do you like hug your children there or is there like any affection? Uh, they didn't like it, but yeah, when I left, both children hugged me. So you taught them Not like how the to hug and, like and, and affection the like that? Like, elders uh, didn't like it. Who who do you trust more, humans or or those alien greys? Who do you trust? I say the alien greys. They never hurt me. Not once. Not fucking once. Yeah. Hmm. You didn't. Did, uh, did you have any struggle with men that when you first were there? Did you punch one of them or think anything? <laughs> no, I, I I was actually March relieved one. that I always uh-huh. thought there were when I seen all these space trap uh, lights and everything above my home in Richmond. And to this day, there's still spacecraft above my home in Richmond, and I don't know why. Would you go back to the planet? Yeah, in a heartbeat. What's the, uh, is, are there seasons or what's the weather like there? You're in a pool all the time. Like our spring, <laughs> like our later watch. spring, before it gets really hot in the summer. Like is it windy saying, or uh, like humid? End of May. Hang on. Is it, when you when you asked, uh, is there water, lakes, streams? It, I didn't hear the answer for that. No. What? I didn't see no water anywhere. And nobody drank water. Oh, yeah. And what it kind of if vegetation grew there? Everything that grows here. Um, that's weird. Huh. There's trees there. There's is there, a, is there, it a, there's a lot of people there, there on the planet? Or, like, how much space do people have? Are people, like, back to back? or? <laughs> oh, hell no. You have more space there because it was like, uh... The facility I was on was probably on 150 acres of land. And there was nothing in sight except for the people that were in the facility and on the property. What did they ever of, tell you where you were? I mean, did they ever communicate telepathically? I didn't want to know. Exactly? I didn't care. <sighs> what kind of when buildings are, did you guys live in? It's like hitting a million fucking dollar lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Was it like a, a one-story house, or was it like a, a multi-story? Multi-story. Multi <laughs> what about, um, do you guys have, like, bathrooms, or uh, probably not kitchens, because yeah, you said you guys ate, facilities. like... facilities. What about, do they shower? They, <laughs> they were, he's missed, he's missed, uh, Vapor rooms, like the big vapor room, you just walk through, walk through, dry, walk through, put your clothes on. Oh walk my lord! So it's kind of like, kind of like what the Jetsons are in the future, right? Is that an accurate description? Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> never even wow. thought of that. I never that's, thought of even putting the comparison of the two together. That's a, that's amazing. Um, what kind of transportation does do they guys do you guys take there? Do you walk or float around or oh, you walk? Unless you are oh. unless you are way up there in ranks, you don't get anywhere near a vehicle. Really? What kind of clothing did they provide you? No. <laughs> You're all so dumb. Shh. Wait a minute. Kurt. I'm sorry. I will not talk no more. Mute yourself. Oh. Mute yourself. Yes, and right let, mute. Okay. Mute. Sorry. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of clothing did they provide you while you were You're there? You're not muted, Kurt. You'll be electrocuted. Yeah, I'm mean right now. I don't want to talk too much about this now. I've been talking too much about it. Okay. I can change is the there, topic to something even cooler. Is is there something that they wanted uh, that they wanted you to tell us or or what? 
what they wanted me oh, to tell Oh, yeah. Is there any message? Is there like a message or, or something they wanted to something share with us? Sometime, somewhere, somehow. But I don't know how, it, how uh, it's going to happen. And I don't know if they want me to say I've what they want me to say, right but now. it could dawn on me at any moment. So, so you say they're going to come, are you saying they're going to come visit us or? No, they're not going to come visit you. No. I don't know if they're coming to save us or if they're going to come here to harm some of us. I don't know. Oh, you really think they would harm us? Wouldn't you think that if you've walked through hell in the footsteps of being an evil person all you, your life, that's not what you're going to expect in the long run? I, I have no idea. That's why I'm, I, I, I'm curious. Very curious. If you've lived your whole life being a total prick, don't you expect to be treated at the end of life like a total piece of prick? I, what she's saying is the evil bastards will all get zapped. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. And, um, I like that. <laughs> Groovy. That would be nice because in that way we could live free of all these fucking assholes that hurt kids. Hey, um, I don't care about myself all that much, but this abuse against kids got to stop. There's got to be at least 10 pedophiles in this town. It's just sickening. It's like they move them here. Huh. Does this? Does anything like this happen on, like, on other planets? No, nothing like this. They're a lot fucking smarter than us human beings. So what, what happens if someone like breaks a law? Nobody breaks the law there. We all know how what the lo- ro- rules are, and you don't you abide by them. Do they have what uh, like a hive mind where ev- everyone can all the tele tele well since they're telepathic, uh, I guess they probably would work like a hive almost insect like like a beehive. Yeah, they all think and act and work together. Mm. Probably. Do they know all your thoughts, like what you think? Mm-hmm. So if you think something oh, bad, yeah, what know do they? Your thought. Huh. Ex- well, oh yeah, the ones that I'm you're not, projecting. I'm not totally convinced yet, but I have a feeling that some of them are already walking amongst us. I really have that feeling, and they're just you know observing what, us. You, like I mean, do you know anybody else? Do you know anybody else that's um, sign, experienced what 7, you've experienced? people. And all of a sudden, you go outside, and there's fucking traffic from one end of the town to the other. And more than 7,000 cars go through town a day. And who knows how many people can't have their license for one reason or another. There's a hell of a lot more than 7,000 people in this fucking town. Do you think the future will be better one day or worse? It'll be better. I know it will be. Good. Good girl. Yeah. That's what I got to look forward to. Do you believe in uh, God and Satan? Yeah, I do. I've had them both around me. Boy, he's a mess. I've had God save me from being almost killed a few times. And I've had the devil uh, rip my heart out and eat it right in front of me. So why do you think you've been you've been saved? Why why do you think you're still alive? That's funny. My book's supposed to be called Saved, but the reason I'm still alive is because obviously I haven't let the world know where it's supposed to let them know yet. The and Lord, I'm not sure what that uh, is. But it's got to be something over, important. Override Satan, my Lord. Override Satan. I'm sorry. I'll mute. That was actually one of the best parts you interjected with because she was just kind of wanting to go that way. Yeah. Go there, girl. Go tell all about it. Yeah, Kurt says he wants to hear about uh, his lord. Okay, I'll tell you. I was at a party one night. I had a couple drinks. Mm. Uh, 
I was sitting in front of the fire and people were talking about the book from Stephen King, I think, some kind of book about flames or something in the movie. And there wasn't supposed to be anybody staring in the fire, but I wouldn't stop staring into the fire. And all of a sudden, in the fire, and we were smoking some good shit. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. As I was staring into the fire, um, the skeletons started dancing in the fire, and they were having a party, and they were having a good time in the flames. And all of a sudden, the middle flame kept getting higher. You know how when the flame gets uh, catch a wind and it gets taller? Uh, yeah. Well, my flame got six feet tall, and a demon stepped out of the flame or came out of the flame, showed me his long nails with his hands up, Went huh? into my heart, grabbed it, and ate it right in front of me. And my chest hurt for almost two weeks later. Oh, well, I, don't, it, I don't know about Is this about story that. in your book? That's weird. Can you Not tell yet. us about your book? Oh. Not yet. I was talking I about Jesus. Help I didn't me with know that. about that. that. Is book your book finished? Thing, I'm going to need somebody to help me with that. Oh. Okay. How far, how far along are you? Uh, myself. You all figure that out. <laughs> um, I'm about 100 you're, you're pages You're in. making me crack right up. Oh, I'm that's about good. I'm 100 pages, Dad. <laughs> now, he's, now Kurt's making me laugh. He's, he's, he's good. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a timeline we should... Uh, I thought we were book? talking about Jesus. I mean, praise the Lord. But she's talking about <laughs> the demons and uh, Satan and all that. I was going to join you, and. Anyway, praise the Lord. In, in the end, Jesus wins. Father, son, and the uh, wolf man. Tell us about Jesus. <laughs> when you met Jesus, girl. Jesus has been in my life my whole life. Yes. I've spoken to Jesus in my mind my entire life and dedicated my life to being a good person. Yes. No, no matter how badly everybody else wants to treat yes. me, I'm still going to be a good person. Then, uh, did you go to Sunday school and church too? Yeah, I had religion when I first went to school. That was banned by grade three. <laughs> and I, I went to church on Sundays when it was English. I wouldn't go if it was German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Shh. Now, quiet. I love I love her. I just love her. I just love this girl. Praise the Lord. I love her. All her story. <laughs> all what she been through. Up and down, back and forth, just been shook. And all she uh pursued and went through it all and all she been through. I love this story. What a great story, this lady. How do you do? I'm so proud of you. All you done. Do you do? I want to mute myself now. No, no. <laughs> what are you going to do? I feel pretty fucking good on weed. If I didn't have my medicine, I would be a. What a great lady medicine. you are. Very scary just... lady. So I need my medicine just to survive every day. And oh, I went, a four Z. Just take a few more. Kind of, probably. If everybody on four Z, it'd be all right. What's the medicine? Are you talking about marijuana? Medical marijuana. Yeah. Medicine. I'm on it for post-traumatic stress disorder. I bet. I bet. What a great yeah. lady, Retha. Great lady, all I can tonight. take up to 28% THC. There's no limitations. Great lady. Mm. Is you that a lot? Not ask for better. I do it every thing. day. I have to, or I am not the same as when I'm medicated. Do you rub it on your skin? Like, <laughs> I can. I can. I can make this stuff to rub on my skin. <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard that's really what good for pain and everything. Question. Oh, it is. Rub it on your skin. 
Well, yeah, I the, eat the my Phoenix weed tears. too. Like for medical it purposes, I had surgeries on my bowel, my bladder, and everything because of all the Phoenix abuse tears. I've been through. Right? And you rub it on and your skin. after my surgeries, and they had to remove so almost stupid. two feet of my bowel, <laughs> my small bowel. Poor girl. Um, they were oh. supposed to have surgeries after two years. I would have to go She's in every central. month. And get this balloon shoved up me and expand it because your scar tissue builds up. She's so great. Well, oh, my girl. I decided I was going to start eating weed. And I've cured myself of ever having first, to have another I, surgery I as long as I have medicine. But the problem is <laughs> my script from the LP costs $900 a month. And um, I can't afford to eat $900 a month worth of weed. So I have to Baby just girl. get weed and eat it as much as possible to stay healthy. And if I don't have any to vape or smoke or anything, I can't <laughs> sleep and I can't function properly. Just so smoke pot, pot. Forget about it. Uh, I need it as medicine. Yeah, it's really actually good for it, when she's people. So okay, precious, for, hang that on. girl, right there. Yeah, Did you know uh, that? I was gonna say God uh, put it's medicine it's, on the planet for us to use. A, I don't care how many years ago, millions of years ago, know and the government just wanted to poison us all instead to make money. Oh yeah, of course they do. And what? What do you, what do you think's gonna happen in the long run? All these people, just say, just say Russia throws a bomb at the States. All of a sudden, it just happens. What's going to happen to all these people that work at the pharmacies? You think they're going to sit there delivering medications? Grandma. No fucking way. They're going to be gone. They're going to be history. They're going to be out of there. And everybody is going to want to get the medications. So every every pharmacy is going to get broken to just get the medication they need to live. Oh, and when God. they can't get that medication to live, hey, everybody's going to turn into zombies. Oh, zombies. That's yeah. where zombies are going to come in fact, because the government oh, poisoned us. Remember that movie? Oh, zombie so as soon as you can stop taking your meds, then, then you'll turn into a zombie after a long time. Yes. Uh, yes. I want to be shot in the head before that happens. Oh, that was good. Girl, Ooh. she's so great. I, I love believe her. it. I love her. I love her. Mm-hmm. So great. So great. Oh yeah, did uh, when you make your weeds, uh, when you eat your weed, do you bake it first, or you just eat it in the no, salad? No, I prefer not to bake it. It's kind of more intense when just you bake and eat it. I do cigarette. bake and eat it, but on a rare, very rare occasion when I don't want to drive at all for days on end, I'll bake peanut butter, marijuana, oatmeal, chocolate chip cookies. Have you done that? And, uh, you made chocolate chip. A marijuana and cookies, how, how but do you, mostly. Do you just make a like a toss? I eat bud. Do you have, just make a toss leaf salad, or I would think like no, just bud, pure yeah. bud. Just eat it right out of the bag, right out of the container, <laughs> and it's oh. cured my bowel. So why is everybody still having surgeries? For fuck's sake, eat well, some weed. It'll cure you. I was supposed to have gallbladder surgery less than six years ago. And they told me I had biliary sludge and I didn't have to have surgery oh, in less than a month and la di da. it all. That's when I started eating weed all the time, like a gram a day. Just eat it. And it Just cured it. that too. Wow. You wow. start that druggy crap on me, <laughs> I will walk your happy ass out of here in two seconds. Who is that? Um, Sound like me. Who, who is, is that? 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 that, that was, sounds that, like I, Curtis. I, I thought it was who good. Is that? Uh, it might have been Dr. Dr. Phil. No. Doctor, no. Yeah, we have Dr. Phil on occasionally. Do you? I now. Yeah. You know what the sad thing is? You know what the sad, sad thing is? Oh. Just I had a doctor on. tell me I fell I through the cracks when I was born. Oh, I'm going to take another swig. Hmm. Not sure. You, you know why she said that? Because I never got Who taken that away from right my there? parents. I never got taken away from them. When I asked for help, I never got it. When I went to the hospital, I never got a psychologist. They got a psychiatrist who all they did was prescribe drugs, 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 drugs. 
And a psychologist would have been able to pick my mind 35 years ago, and I wouldn't have went through all the stress I've been through all my life because I would have got help early. Do you live in a trailer? I hear. How no, I live in a beautiful home. Good. I was just I. Uh, when I close a three my bedroom home trailer. that I might be buying. I love Lucy. Um, the long, long trailer. I thought you would be in that, but no, you're in a home. Good. I'm so glad. I love you. You're so great, girl. Oh, poor thing. Thank God. you. That actually makes me feel really good. You're so great. Thanks for talking to me. Oh, of course. Hi, Doctor Phil. Oh, it's <laughs> Doctor Phil's. So how uh, are you guys doing? Shut up. Turn your turn your mic up, <laughs> Doctor Phil. Great. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, she's so great. I love her. I love all she says. She's so great. Dang. <laughs> what a what great. You, what a Dr. great. Doctor Phil. Time. What do you think? Shut Dr. up. Phil? I didn't ask you nothing. <laughs> Shh. Let's talk. Let her okay, talk. Okay, who, who's allowed See, to? Okay, oh, she's okay. She's men to talk. Are keeping the girl from talking, and she great. That's okay. I'm just rolling one right now. That's all right. I'm gonna uh, so, do something right here. Go on. What else, girl? And I got grow up with bugs for my medicine, and it's doing amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow, here's a song that was sent to me. Let's have a break, guys. 